Uh, the cuckoo melon is really kind of a romantic vine, much like a morning glory, uh, as it gets very wispy and wild, and you have to kind of look um, as the fruit is just all over the place. As you can see, this bush is just covered with lots of little yellow flowers, which means more fruit to come. Today, we're making a quick pickle, and then we're gonna do it quick and fast. So, easy, easy. One part water to one part vinegar. We're gonna throw a little bit of verjus in there, and verjus is an under-ripened, unfermented grape juice. Just uh, takes a little bit of edge off the vinegar and brightens up. Uh, I feel that kind of uh, citrus vinegar with the verjus is a great uh, addition to the kuka melons. There, we're gonna add a few aromatics, garlic, and some salt on there. So we're gonna get started. So one part, water. We're gonna bring this to a boil. In goes the vinegar. This is about three cups each, so a vinegar and so a total of about six cups. It gives us lots of brine. We're gonna do a few other pickles at the end as well. There we go, smelling good already. And then just about one cup of verjus here. There we go. We're gonna throw in these aromatics. It's some pickling, some brown and yellow mustard seeds, different peppercorns, coriander, juniper, all in here, a little chili flakes, add a little bit of heat, but not spice to there. We're gonna throw in some garlic as well. You do two thirds of a tablespoon of salt per uh, one cup of uh, water. So we have that in there. And I'm gonna add this fennel, cause we're gonna have this in there. And you don't have to, you can rough chop these things. You don't even have to peel the garlic. You can just throw it in there. Cause we're gonna strain this out before it goes into the jar. And then I always add a couple of bay leaves. And there we go, we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna add it to the jars. Okay, our brining solution, our pickle solution has come to a boil and now we're just gonna simply add this in here. Gently pour it in there. You wanna make sure that the liquid covers everything. Boom, done. And then I also added some carrots here and some red onions. You know, you can pickle just about anything. You just want it to be able to stand up to the brine. So carrots are a good one. I have some red onions over here. And when you're pickling stuff, it's you wanna use something that really has grown to the maximum of its creation, something that's super fresh. This is something you've either grown, you've gotten at the farmer's market, or you've gotten directly from the farm. It's not really, you know, flavor does equal health and wellness. And it, it's something you really want to, when you're doing this, you wanna capture the, the really just the essence of what mother nature has given us. And um, so that, that when it comes along, a, you know, a gloomy winter's day or something, you're gonna open up one of these jars and it's gonna be a little bit of uh, summer that's gonna pop out at you. So what we're gonna do now is let these cool down to about room temperature. Then we'll put the lids on them and into the fridge they go. These will, you know, carry out in, in your refrigerator um, for many months in there and uh, you can enjoy them, they'll be a nice thing. 